guys, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to talk about Kubernetes service. So what a service in Kubernetes. Now, in simple language, um, I have here the, the replica set slide playing. So let's go back to where we were. So in simple language, a Kubernetes service is just the API object, right? The service in Kubernetes is just the API object, object that allow you to expose an application. So when we deploy an application, that application is not accessible yet on the browser because we don't have a service. So we can deploy an applications and that application will not be available yet on the browser if there's no service attached on that. So service is actually the element that allow you, for example, to see your application on the browser. So it is not because you actually put your uh, deploy an application that is going to be available. So community service is actually the API object that Kubernetes you to expose the application on the browser. So we are going to see the example. So let's demonstrate the example and see how powerful service is. So I have this application here. So I'm going to deploy a simple application, a simple NGNX application. So let me replace this one by NGNX. For example, it's going to be a simple NGNX application. So let's go first, let's deploy the port. So I will copy this deployment to deploy the port. So let's empty this here. So let's deploy this. If I say, for example, if I say, for example, QCTL, right? If I say, for example, QCTL, you see, QCTL apply hyphen F. Get that created. If we say QCTL, K stand for QCTL is an alias that I said earlier. Let's say alias K equal QCTL so that you don't have to type QCTL all the time. So if I say QCTL get deployed, you see that I have that deployment. If I say QCTL get port, I have an application running here with three port, right? I have an application running here with three port. Now the problem is I can't access this application in the browser. I will not be able to access this application in the browser. Why? Because I don't have any service that I need to use. There's no service attached to this, and therefore I will not be able to access this application, for example, on the browser. So there's no way I will access this application on the browser, right? If I type QCT get port hyphen, for example, or white, it will show me, for example, the port IP address. If I take the port IP address and let's get and um, punch it on the browser for 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 example. So let me bring the browser here. Take for example this. If I put it here, hit enter, nothing is gonna happen, right? If I put it there, hit enter, nothing will basically happen. Why? Because that is not exposed yet, and that's just even the port IP address. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to come down here, then I'm going to add a service, right? Let's add a service to this, and let's change this service to something that we can have on the browser. I'm going to attach a service into that. As you can see, the selector for the service is actually calling my app, which match whatever we have here. When you empty my file, I will give me to that file. Then I will deploy. Just have to record a command I will deploy with. Now I have a service created. If I say kubectl get port, you will see the port. If I say kubectl get service, you will also see a service. This is a namespace service. This one come by default by Kubernetes. Each time you create a namespace, Kubernetes create, actually create a service, uh, uh, a service on that automatically. Now, the name of service called my service. It's this type node port. Now let's see how we can access that NGINX application actually on the browser. So if I type QCTL, get node, hyphen all white, it's going to be, I can take the IP address of any node here. Then I will add it with this port. So if I take, 
for example, this colon, then I put this IP address here, which is actually the node port. I have explained this on, on another video, which I will ping here. If I bring back whatever we have here and open this, hit enter, now we can see an application NGINX, right? So uh, that is how I was able to expose my application. So the service is what is used in Docker Compose, sorry, it's what is used in Docker uh, uh, Kubernetes to expose. It's just like in Docker, when you say hyphen P in Docker, you are trying to expose the application in the container. In Kubernetes, we are gonna use service. So the service in Kubernetes is actually the Kubernetes API object that allow us actually to expose an application in the browser, right? With the service, they allow us to expose an application in the browser, meaning that when you deploy an application, and if you can see it on the browser, the, one of the issues that my, you might have, the service issue. I hope you like the video. See you on the next video. Just remember that Kubernetes service is the API object that, API um, source that Kubernetes use to make sure that the, the application can be visible on the browser. Thank you.